too in Nice and the French Riviera. Uh, I'm in Es, the Port of Es, Santa Midas or something. But uh, basically, uh, my friend Georgia, who works, lives in Nice, works in Monaco, and her boyfriend Chris have graciously invited me to uh, spend a day on, on their boat, uh, which I was <laughs> enthralled by. I was uh, so do you want to go on the yes? Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, fun stuff. And that is the Monte Carlo Casino behind me. Uh, Forbes 30 on 30 article came out yesterday, hard copy, not the online copy, but um, yeah, they sent me a photo of it, so it is what it is. That was uh, really cool to get, really happy about that. An article of two coming out in some Greek, like Aussie Greek American newspaper, so that's awesome. Um, but anyway, today we have a um, we have a business expo here in Monaco. So I'm going to check it out. A friend of mine told me, so I thought, why not? Do some networking, see if there's any startup people here, um, and what it's like, and why not? A bit of a more relaxing, chilled out networking day. Because why not? We deserve it. So we'll see how it goes today. Okay, so uh, networking event, went there for a few hours, met some people, asked some questions about potentially setting up e-commerce brokers here. It's possible, but Monaco, Monaco is still old school in terms of uh, the money here isn't, isn't new money, you know, it's not internet money, it's not app money, it's not SaaS money, it's all uh, old money. So their policies and taxes and all that stuff are pretty old school, so not great for me. I want to talk about the Forbes then. Um, yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Uh, I'll tell you how I got it, right, so a client of mine uh, knew someone who had got it before, he said, George, why don't you try this out? I go, good question. So I did. Uh, so I had to help out putting some sort of, a, I guess, an application put together, show them a bit about my business, what it's doing, um, tell them a bit about myself, and then that was the application, right? So I applied. They emailed me, said, you know, look, you, you got it. I want to confirm your Greek, confirm some numbers. They're like, yeah, you got it. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, for people who don't know it, it's uh, it's kind of like the uh, awards for young entrepreneur for, for entrepreneurs. You know, Forbes is kind of the official list. You know, everyone's got a list of this and that, but Forbes is the one. Um, you know, there's the Forbes rich list, and the For which is like the guys who've made it. They've won. That is the rich list. And then that's the Forbes 30 under 30. It's like, okay, that's, this isn't the rich list, but it's the up and comers, you know? Um, so it's validating. It's super, 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 super validating. And validation is something that you don't get really as an entrepreneur because you're going against the grain of what society is telling you to do. You're going against, you know, the, um, hey, go get a degree. You don't get a, any validation. There's no tests. Like in university, you don't get to do any tests. Like, oh, I am good at this subject. You don't get any pieces of paper saying you were qualified. No, none of that. All you get is money. Maybe. If you work hard enough. Um, so that's the only kind of feedback you get is, is clients um, paying and continued success. And if you don't have that continued success, that's it. But uh, this is like the first time I've ever been awarded anything for entrepreneurship, which is feels great. It's odd because... Entrepreneurship, for the, for the most part, is something that you don't get any validation. You get paid, especially if you're, you know, more of a sales side kind of business, which mine is. Or, you know, your only validation is, hey, I, I got paid this month or this quarter. So it's like, okay, that's validating enough. I get it. I got paid. But this is different because it's not necessarily you're not getting paid for, for the fourth listing, but you're um, it's still big, right? So, yeah. 
it's awesome. Um, it's, it'll be really good for the business, I think. It gives um, social proof is a very important thing as a broker. I mean, in business in general. But as a broker, it's very important. People want to know that you're someone or that you've achieved something. Um, so when they see Forbes, they're going to be like, oh, shit, this guy's something. I don't know if I'm something, but at least I made the Forbes list. So I'm happy. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm super grateful. I, I, and I immediately thought when they, the lady um, at Capital G uh, told me, and Forbes told me, she's like, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Who do I have to thank? I'm like, I feel super grateful. Just, just thinking about it, I'm like, okay, well, Jared, Rowan, my mentor, my, my friends who stuck by me during all the hard times. 